So it's almost time for part two of the Road to Worlds campaign happening late tonight, of course getting the Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid, we're getting a structure deck for Cyburst, for Code Talkers, which is looking pretty good, we're getting an anniversary box as well, we'll talk about that, we're getting some new bundles coming with a brand new box, it should be a really big time, and given what we're getting, it does seem like the KC Cup World Championship qualifiers are going to be quite fun, so let's dive into all the content and see what it's all about. So first of all we've got the brand new anniversary box now, we know from the banner, we're going to be getting all tasks for Firewall Dragon, Borrow Load, Tour Guide for the Goki, and that's all we kind of know. Now, the, the original box we got, the first box, had, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all tasks. This one has 4, and so I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit smaller than this one, kind of like a, a, a mini box, I guess. And this box, when it came out, was really good for new players because you basically, while rotation got you, you know, 3 Booker Moons, your Sun and Mines, your DD Crow, which is going to be pretty good going forward, You've got the whole deck course from Adult Chase for S Force, Speedroid for Trickstar. You've got Lance, that's actually going to be good with a new borrowed skill. And so, hopefully, this new WCS box can be as good. Probably not, but we'll see. Then we have the Structure Deck Sign at Raging, of course, giving this the All Time Deco Talker, getting a free copy, getting the Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid, and of course, a skill that works to bring him out. That does dump a bunch of bodies into a Banish Zone, and then, of course, you can bring it back via the skill. And then hopefully by the time you can summon this boy, you've got two, three in your graveyard, you can have multiple negates, and some really big attack points. And in terms of new cards coming via the structure deck, they're actually not too bad, right? So first of all, he's going to be Firewall Phantom. If it's using material, search any Sinet Spell Trap card from your deck, then discard one card. So it's getting you access to your Sinet Crosswipe probably, or your Mining, or probably not Refresh, right? There's not too many targets we'll play right now. Of course, we're getting the rollback via the skill. That works on turn 10 onwards so it's a bit of a bonus with that then we've got code radiator which is kind of like the microcoder we've got just another one of those cards that can be used as another material from your hand and if you use it for a code talker specifically then you can make an opponent's monster zero and negate effects or if it was from the field you can choose two of them and do the same thing so this is going to make otk plays really really possible in code talkers so it should be kind of fun then we have the firewall horse that kind of does the same thing as the coverage talked about it has some recursion, it's fine, right? And finally is Defensor, which is sent to Graveyard's Link Material, summon a Firewall monster from your deck. So you can go out for your Phantom, then use Phantom to go search a spell card, or go for the older Firewall Guardian, which is like two months old now, that can then bring yourself back when you link someone again. So you just basically go through your deck, getting more materials to eventually build up to a Link 4 or a Link 5 in Dark Fluid. And of course, it's got to use protection as well, so that's pretty good. Now for me, I'm hoping this card is a one-off because I didn't go into the main box it was in and so if I've got to go into it I kind of only want to get one copy and not spend 10,000 gems to try and find this one copy. Then we've got the brand new box Borrowload Slash. Now in terms of what's in here that I'm excited for it's probably just the Borrowload stuff and to me that kind of means I might not go into it because again it's one, two, three cards in the entire box but what's here is also really really cool. So Sticking on the Cyburst theme, we've got the Cyburst Sage going to help you get more materials in your graveyard for Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid, right? It allows you to go into a fusion monster, then if it was used for a Synchro Summon, you gain more benefits. So the idea is you summon this, summon a fusion, use those two to go to a Synchro, you've now got three bodies in the graveyard for Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid, which means it's got three negates, which is pretty solid. Then we've got the Rocket stuff. Now, Revolver has a brand new skill that works to kind of search this card out. You can summon it for free, and when you do, Tribute this, bring it to Rockets in your graveyard different names. So immediately you can make a level 8 synchro, potentially a rank Kate Xyz if we had multiple rockets that were high levels with different names, but we don't. And so with the skill working the way it does, I'm not sure how good this is gonna be. Now, this does search for your fusion spell or your new ritual spell that does make the monster you summon unaffected by monsters summoned from the extra drag, which is really, really big because the Riot Dragon is a genuinely fun boss monster that when you put someone's a monster, you can destroy the monster, then either pop this card or rocky control. Which of course makes the entire rock strategy live of in the end phase, summoning ourselves back or doing some other bonuses. Now the downside is, there is no boot sector access with the skill. And so is it worth going for this new variant, rather than playing the old one? We're gonna have to find out. But this can also kind of trigger your rockets in the graveyard, by popping them on the field and adding card back to the hand, and so it just gives you one more use case for rockets on turn 3, turn 4, if you kind of need it. Also, is the big new boss, Borosaur Dragon. Now in a TCG, 
this was kind of your go-to game ender before access code existed. And so because we don't have that, this will probably see play in a bunch of different decks. Now, I would imagine things like Salomon Great are going to love this. Kotor could probably play it as well if they can stretch it with a skill, I'm not too sure. Uh, of course, Boral will play it, Rocket will play it. Uh, most Link decks that can splash this in are probably going to. Then we've got Trap Tricks. Now, these are getting a skill as well that doesn't give you another normal summon, but it puts the body on board. And so, a lot of these Trap Tricks, right, like a Mamelio, can search out your whole Trap cards on summon. Or you've got Mantis, which is a Stratos. Now, the kind of goal of Trap Tricks, I, I, I guess, is going to be if some one of them you get the search of, then you play something else. And so, and so you've kind of got to pick and choose which one you go for. Of course, we're getting the Pendant as well, we're getting the Gen Slayer, and also we're getting the OG rank 4, right? Alamaris. That one's fine. It summons out a body from a graveyard, of course, then you can activate the effect of your Mamelo to pop a card your opponent controls. But also, we're getting two bundles. We're getting the Refugia, which is generic, you know, so you can technically play it in any rank 4 deck, but you won't want to. It gives your trap tricks protection from card effects and from battle. It becomes any trap hole card in your deck just on whim. So if you can flug at your opponent, you can use this effect to do that. Or treasure trap hole, you can do the same thing, which is really, really neat. Now, have they got everything? No. Is it a good first or second showing for the deck? Sure, I, I think it is. Then to go along with the bundles, we've got another one for Hyperion. Now, this being limit one means you can't play it with the trap card that got hit or with the Herald of the Arc line, I think it is. The other Synchro got a limit one bundle. But this is a really cool new boss monster that can copy a card effect you have in your extra deck or your deck, and it's some removal in your opponent's turn. Which is, you know, that that's not too shabby, right? In terms of box support, we've got a UR card in here that searches out the field spell and can summon up bodies from your hand or graveyard. Not too shabby. We've got the Sacred Waters, which activates the field spell directly from your deck or is a rotor. So again, not too bad. We've got the main deck boss, the new version of the old Hyperion, which is some removal in your turn. So again, not too bad. There's a bunch of synchros, the links, we've got the uh, the Trias Hierarchica, which is used in Voices Voice and the TCG. We've got the link, the Parshaft Shaft, that you can't actually summon in the deck with the skill. But you can still play it as a target for your Hyperion's effect, to then copy its effect. I think that the Ancient deck is going to be an interesting one to look out for. Wait and see. See what people cook and see what happens. Then we've got a new fusion for Shadol. We've got Shekinaga, requires an Earth as one of the pack for that. And it is a negate for a monster your opponent controls when activate their effect. The downside is you're still missing the two key cards from the selection box, right? Your Beast and your Resh. And so Konami could have put these in this pack and it would have made sense, but they didn't. They didn't. Given those boxes are now back, they wanted to go into the selection box and go into this box, and people are going to because your dolls are still a pretty good deck. Then we've got the plants. The tree Spectre is now in door links, of course, via raid event, and I'm not sure how good these are going to be. And I think Konami knows that because a lot of these cards are super and below, right? You've got your Sunvine Sowing, which gets you a Sun Seed from your deck and just summons it out. You've got a new Link 4, you take damage because most attack points and then bounce it back, and this, I think, is, is better as a turn 1 boss than your big Link 4 that's actually an archetype. Also, we've got Lone Fire finally in Duel Links. Uh, not Limit 3, which I'm kind of surprised at because this card can be abused at some point down the line. Now, of course, in Duel Links today, this will be used to go into your Sun Seed Loki. Right, this one. So you go Lone Fire for Lone Fire for Lone Fly into your Loki, filling your deck by 4 cards, and then, of course, going in for your Link 1. And just kind of going off from there, summoning your big trees and having a field day. And finally, is Infernoble Knight. Getting two UR cards that you're going to want to play at two to three copies each, I believe. Right, this one is a rotor for any card in the archetype, which is kind of crazy. And also replace itself if your Noble Knight dies. So you're just getting a rotor on your next turn. You've got Renaud, which is a free body if there's a Fire Warrior on your field. Of course, you have the Gear Fridge skill. That is going to be the default skill, I think, for this deck. It's recursion for a card in a graveyard, so not too bad. We've also got the uh, the Synchro Monster, the Charles, which can pop a card on the field. In the end phase, do the exact same thing because you're using its effect to a card from the graveyard to it, and then you are getting that pop off. So overall, um, of course, there is more, right? You're getting the Ogier, you're getting, of course, Excalibur and Astolfo. You're getting a bunch of cool cards in this set. Is it enough for me to go into? I'm not sure. At the moment, I've got like 2,000 gems, and so if I've got to go in and find this Firewall Guardian, 
then I'm not sure I'm going to have enough gems to kind of dedicate to going into this box. We'll see though, you know, I might change my mind, but that is kind of the, the issue with Duel Links right now, is that if you are a rush and a speed player, then it is impossible to kind of support both formats at once and be somewhat free to play with it. It's really impossible. Hopefully, the anniversary box is going to be actually good. I would hope. The structure deck seems like it's going to be fine. A little bit worried about what the kind of game plan is, but we'll see how that all works out in the end. Going to WCS, it's going to be pretty fun for Duel Links. Of course, I'm sure I said a bunch of things wrong. I usually do. There's probably going to be a compilation video coming. Of all the things I said wrong, but you know what? I don't care. I'm just having fun, reading some cards, wrong, probably. Let me thoughts down below of this brand new box. Of course, structure deck drops tonight. The, this one coming on May 27th, so a few days to wait, but that's plenty fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one's video. See you then.